Well, with me now is the boss of one of the big six energy companies, Scottish Power's Chief Corporate Officer, Keith Anderson. So, Keith, uh, good evening to you. How much is this going to cost you? Well, look, I think the first thing we need to look at here is that you know, the, the thing we're trying to do and the biggest focus for us is what's the best thing for the customer and how do we do that? And for our, from our perspective, the best thing is to get more customers engaged in the market. We've been working very hard to do that. We've already got more than 60% of our customers on good valued products away from the old style SVT. And that's a very leading position for the industry. I think the disappointing thing I feel today is that actually the potential here and the risk of a price cap is that it takes 13 million people who are not on those good products and it actually discourages them from taking part in the market. Stops and what we around. Want to, yeah. yeah, and what we want to do is we want to encourage those people to come into the market. And we think the best thing to do would be to scrap the old style standard variable tariff, take those 13 million people and put them into the market. And if we've already got 40 energy companies competing in that market, of 8 to 10 million people, think about how much better the market would be with another 13 million people in the market. So are you going to take a lead on this? Are you going to abolish standard variable tariffs yourself? So we've been, we, we've been saying, uh, our view was that the whole market should get rid of SVTs, and that's why we've pushed so far and so hard to get 60% of our customers away from that. The good thing is, Ofgem two days ago announced some changes to the rules, which makes it now easier to do that. So now when a customer comes to the end of a product or the end of a year, they don't need to be put back on to standard variable tariff. We can now put them on to a better product. That will drive this even faster, and that's better again. And again, the concern I have is that the message the price cap sends to 13 million people is don't do anything, yeah. stay where you are, because we're going to come and fix it for you. And our view is, no, don't. So it's a bit engage, of nanny engage, engage with us now. Mm. Come and speak to us now, and we'll fix this for you now. We'll put you on a better product now, and you'll get a better deal now. Well, why is it, do you think, in the, in the face of all that? Um, the Competition and Markets Authority have explicitly urged the government not to do this. Why do you think they are? I'm, I, I'm not too sure, um, you know, because, as I say, our view, and we would agree with the Competition and Markets Authority, actually... Capping discourages competition and it discourages markets, and that's what will offer the best solution. Engagement is the best thing. Engagement is what drives loyalty, because customers feel they're being engaged, they're being listened to, and that's the best place for us to be. We've got 60% of our customers actively engaged with us as a company, and we want to keep pushing that all the way to 100%. In fairness, though, I mean, this isn't going to come in till 2020. It may not last for very long. It certainly won't come in, it will last till 2020. It won't come in till next year sometime. Shares in Centrica and Scottish and Southern were two of the biggest gainers on the FTSE today. The industry's uh, been led off, hasn't it? Well, I, I, how long it takes the legislation to, to go through the House of Commons and go through the process, I, I'm not too sure how quickly that'll happen. But our view is the faster the industry moves to switching people away from SVT, as I say, we've shown it can be done. We're a leading position in the industry. Our call to others in the industry is follow our lead, push this, drive this, get people away from SVT, get people engaged in the market. That shows people that they get the best product in the market. It will show the government that people are engaging in the market and we don't need price caps. You've told Greg Clark this, presumably? Yes, absolutely. And what did he say? Well, I think his position is he's sitting saying, you know, he doesn't believe that the market's working. He, doesn't, he keeps talking about a lack of loyalty and, and, and companies not being loyal. Our view is it's not about loyalty. This is about engagement. Engagement is what drives loyalty. We've got 60% of our customers who are incredibly loyal to us. They're also incredibly engaged in the market. That's the way competition should work, that's the way markets work, and that's the way people get the best deal. All right, Keith Anderson from Scottish Power, we've got to leave it there. Appreciate you joining me. Thank you.